You know, it's very ironic. When we launched RFID, our first target was tags, make them really cheap, and we got there. The next target was readers, make them really, really cheap, and we got there. But the thing we forgot was, it's not the cost of the readers, it's the cost of installing those readers. Because you need wiring, you need ethernet, or you need dead ethernet, I'll come back to that. You need to install servers, you need to install software, you need someone to go tweak stuff. It's all the other stuff that we don't think of in the high-tech world that really made RFID initially expensive. Well, that's all about to change. The reason it's about to change is, in the 1990s when we launched this industry, we needed ethernet. Who uses landlines anymore? This is the world of wireless, not even Wi-Fi, but the Kindle, which goes straight into the cloud. Who needs servers in your uh, facilities anymore? There is this thing called the cloud. It used to be that uh, if you wanted to do some computing, you bought 10 computers and you put them at headquarters and you plug this massive ethernet cable to it and data went into it and if you had a power outage, you couldn't access the data and if you had a flood, you lost the data. The world has changed a lot. What happens now is that there are companies like Amazon, which already have thousands of computers or Google and they are in this really safe place. They are powered with hydroelectric power. They, are, uh, they have massive data connections and they're on the internet. And the internet is much faster now. So what that means is that you don't need to buy a computer and install it in your headquarters, even frankly in your own home. What you can do is do everything with those computers that Amazon or Google provides to you and the response time is very fast because you have very fast internet. And this is leading to a whole revolution in the way in which we interact with computing. Uh, as consumers, we see it in the form of the Kindle or the iPad or the iPhone. We store our files on Dropbox, say. This is collectively referred to as the cloud. So there's a whole new generation of RFID about to happen. It's a, uh, a, a device level RFID where you get a reader, you plug it in and you enable it in the cloud and you're good to go. Um, so yes, inst installation costs were high, but thank heavens for technology because today I think that we're on the threshold of a very seamless world of RFID. You could argue that uh, we are uh, in between explosions of deployment. Uh, there are already thousands of RFID deployments around the world. There are probably uh, about two billion RFID tags with our standards on them were uh, made last year. Um, but I think we're on the threshold of a next level of uh, up-ramp uh, because now RFID is going to be so easy to install that it needn't be the Walmarts of the world, it could be the mom and pop shop, right, that installs um, RFID, or maybe a university installs RFID to keep track of uh, its chairs in a conference room. So yeah, I think that we're on the threshold of a whole new level of adoption. The internet went through similar cycles. It went up, and then it went up, and then it went up, and RFID is in the, is in the beginnings of that.